Hi, welcome to another computer tutoring training session. Just out in the garden, just enjoying a lovely uh, summer's afternoon. Uh, I must say recording in a garden is fraught with a little bit of trouble. But um, another thing that might have caused you trouble is delegating access to your inbox in Outlook 2016. So I hope we've got internet connection out here. I've got two laptops. The laptop on my left is called Lenny. The one on my right is called Beauty. Now the issue is, is Lenny is going to go on holiday and wants to delegate access to his inbox to Beauty, i.e. Beauty will take care of all of his emails. So how does he go about it? Well, there's two steps to this. The first step is he has to delegate access here. So what he's done is basically if you to delegate access, you click on file. So file in the top just here. And then we're going to go to count settings just here and then go down to and click on delegate access. So the delegate access appears here on the computer. So we need to add Beauty as a delegate. So we're going to click on add just here. We're going to find Beauty in the list. There she is. Double click to add Beauty. And then I'm going to click on OK at the bottom. The next thing I need to do is I need to determine the permissions. What am I going to allow Beauty to do? So I don't want her to change my calendar just yet. That's fine. So I'm going to say none for the calendar, uh, none for tasks. But for my inbox, I want her to be an editor. And then I'm going to check this checkbox here so it will automatically send the message to Beauty knowing or letting her know that I've delegated access or Lenny has delegated access to Beauty. So I'm going to click on OK, let it do its thing, click on OK again, and then it will delegate access. So that's the first stage. That's the first thing that you need to do. The second stage is on the beauty side of things. So once you uh, get in, you'll get an email. So you can see an email that's just appeared here. So here we go. This message was sent automatically to be designated as a, de um, as a, uh, a delegate. So there's two stages to this. First thing, you can just open up the inbox. So if you just want to open it up and have a look periodically, you can do the following. Uh, notice the beauty here is gray, so we can just see the difference. So click on File. Click on open and export. You can click on other users folder here and then you can type in the user that you want to open. So in this case, it's Lenny. Uh, the folder type is an inbox. I can choose here. Click on OK. Make sure I choose the correct Lenny. And now I can see the actual inbox. So there we go. So we can see the actual inbox there. So the only problem with this, what I'm doing this, is if you click and go off and do something else, so say for instance, if I click on Daffy just over here on the left hand side, then um, I just lose the inbox for Beauty, uh, sorry, for Lenny entirely. So um, how do I go about getting the folder to the left so it's a little bit more permanent? Well, you can do the following. So if you go back on the Beauty laptop here, if I go back, uh, and then I go to account settings and account settings. I will then double click on my beauty account just here. If I then go down to and click on more settings, which is in the bottom right hand corner there. So if I click on more settings, then go and click on the advanced tab there. So click on the advanced tab and then click on add to add in a user and I need to add in a mailbox. So I'm going to add in Lenny's mailbox. I'm going to add the full email address, lenny at wvuk.onmicrosoft.com. And then I'm going to click on OK. Let, uh, I'm going to let uh, Exchange, let the computers talk to Exchange and hopefully it's all going to be done. Click on OK. Click on Next. Click on Finish. Click on close to close that off here. And then if you look to the left hand side here, you'll see that the inbox here of Lenny will appear. Now, if you click on it first time, it might be that the folders don't appear immediately. You may have to wait a couple of minutes or so, but have a bit of patience uh, and eventually you will be able to see if I swap back to another inbox, I've got another one here, Daffy that I've done earlier. Uh, let's go back to Lenny and see if I can click on this one here. And see if I can expand it. Ah, now I can start expanding the inbox here. That's great. I've got the inbox. Brilliant. So I can start to see Lenny's messages. Uh, in fact, if I just expand that, I can actually get access to subfolders as well. So far, so good. Now, the last thing, and I know you're itching about to know this, is I'm beauty now, if you can imagine. <laughs> uh, and I want to send an email on behalf of Lenny as if I was. 
uh, on yeah, Lenny. So how do I do that? Well, if I go up to and click on new email, as you would in Outlook, just to send a new email, when the box appears, you've got this from drop down menu. So if you click on the from drop down menu, and I've already ate Lenny there, I've done earlier. Say for instance, I didn't have Lenny, I could click down to other email address. Just very quickly, if you don't have the from uh, available there, you can go to options at the top, and then you've got the from uh, box just at the top here that'll just allow you to add it in. So there we go, so I'm gonna click on from, I'm gonna to go to other email address, and here I'm going to look for Lenny, and there it sees Lenny just here. If I can't see it here, I can click on from and choose it that way. Click on okay, there we go. I'm going to send one from Lenny, and I'm going to send it to somewhere else. I'm just gonna send it to Beauty, here we go. Seems a bit strange. And then test from uh, Beauty, but really is Lenny. I goes, hi, this email, oops, looks as if it comes from Lenny, but it's really from Beauty. Thanks. Then I click on send. Brilliant. So now if I go into Beauty's inbox just up here, there's my inbox here. There we go. And I've got this one that I've just sent just here. Okay. Um, if I just, uh, just make sure that's the latest one. There we go. So test from Lenny, but really so hi. This email looks as if it comes from Lenny, but it's really from Beauty. Now at the top, if you're using Outlook here, basically it says Beauty on behalf of Lenny. So this one comes out here, so it's behalf of Lenny. But if you look in the inbox here, um, you can see it said two, but it's Beauty from Lenny. Can you see that there? So it says from Lenny. If you send it to Gmail, and I've tried this out and it looks like it will come from Lenny. It's just in Outlook. Uh, there. So I hope that's helped you um, out how you could send and receive emails and delegating access of your inbox to somebody else. So if you have not really done so, please subscribe. Um, I'm going to show very soon how to delegate your calendar and I know you're all uh, itching to know how to do that. So thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you've got anything out of this video and thank you um, so much. Take care. Bye now.